Hello people who like to make things. People who like to watch people make why things. Was there and bacon in that people who are wondering why they're here and what the hell is going on and hello little prop shop, thank you very much for the host. Uh, sorry. Oops. Knocked over the mic. Trying to do something. It's gone wrong. It's all gone wrong. Firstly, um most importantly, can you actually hear me okay, or is it weird and echoey? Bzz, yeah, hold on, sorry. Right, is it weird and echoey? Or not? Because if it is, I can unplug the mic and plug it back in, because that usually helps. No, I don't. Anyway. So, I'm going to need to run off in a minute, because... Sounds okay, good. I had already unplugged it and plugged it back in again. <coughs> so fingers crossed that'll sort it. Oh my word. <coughs> oh, it's all gone wrong today. I to I went to try and start streaming. Um and then realised I hadn't published anywhere that I was going online, so it took me ages to get online, yay. Anyway, how is life for the little prop shop today? Um More importantly, how's the wedding planning going? Um, looks like you've been finding things, working on things. Um, also, just um, from Carol's message on the Discord, <coughs> little near us still had the uh, cordless rotor tools, so picked up one today. And I'm going to be trying it later. Now, currently working on this noggin me jogging. What the hell? Why am I trying to get this in screen? Can we get this in shot anyway? Any particular way? There we go. That's the... No, it's not. Wait a minute. Hey, that's it. Right. Basically need to point it away from the camera. Currently a few dirty lines. Oh good, just enjoying some art. Oh, cool. Good stuff. You haven't been tasked with going along too. Now, what we need to do today is get this back of head bit. I am not going to be able to move my head at all onto this bit. So, at the minute, looking a bit like this. The chin is a bit gappy, but I'm not sure how that's going to alter once we've got it all together. Hold on, wait, feel voice. <laughs> yeah, because he can't move his chin at all, so he talks about it like this. Work six to two, so just chilling. Okay, sorry, still doing bad voice. Um, that's an early start for Saturday, man. No. 
Um, yeah, that's an early start for Saturday. I normally get up at six during the week to get to work for like half seven. But starting at six is just a bit evil. Gotham evil. See him tomorrow. Boo. I mean, boo. Yeah, anyway. Um, so, the chances of me getting this, plus a torso, which I haven't even started yet, <laughs> finished for next Saturday. Slim to none. No. Alright, without further ado, I don't have a lot of time. Actually, my alarm is about to go off because I need to go and stick a chicken in the oven. Hold fire. Hang fire, I will be back in approximately a minute and a half. I even have a bag shortly. Screen? Well, I am hoping I can do it. And I'll talk through it in a minute about the torso bit. But right now, I'm going to put chicken in the oven before I'm fine. I'm done. I'm just going to turn that alarm off. I think I can do it. Um, mainly because it's only really the glowing bits that I need to do in here. What the hell am I looking for? Clock. And I have one set for... Oh no, it's another 10 minutes before I need some... Screw it. Okay, let's get some glue in them. Can't... Mm, well, yeah, let's do it. Right. Anyway. We'll start gluing this. Open the window because I'm going to be using some contact cement. I'm going to move that there. Also, if at any point you can't hear what I'm saying, the command breathe, always breathe, yeah, that works. Um, the command exclamation point, or exclamation mark if you're British, um, exclamation mark mumble will give me an audible. Notification that I'm mumbling, you can't hear me. Oh, grr, I knew there was something I meant to do. I also want to set up another notification so that. Sorry, I just wanted to check the door was shut so the can't, can't, cat can't get out the window. Need to set up another audible notification so that if I'm off camera, it can tell me to come back on camera because um, I do that all the time. Waffle. For when I'm talking fish. Yes, that is a good one. I'm gonna write remind me of that. Remind me of that. Like message me on Discord or something to remind me to set off a waffle. Waffle or tangent when I go off on one. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up and start going. Need one of IQ's uh, safety ones. Alright. Uh, I may sound like a robot. In a minute, I'm done it. Oh, I forgot my glasses. Oh well. Oh, oh. Right, so. Hoping you can still hear me. Oh, yeah, I hate that. And seriously, see when you go swimming on a Saturday? Anyway. Um. Yeah. Why did I put on my phone further? Good. Are under the glue? No. Anyway. That man are scared. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bad crow! Crow man. Whatever. Um, crow man. Um, scissors. I'm just going to make some... I'm going to put that down here. Right, I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to make some... Glue spreaders. Because... I had three or four already made up, but I don't know what I've done. So there we go. No, um, do I get the house glue done out? Uh, and that way we've been doing stuff all morning. Um, it means that when you come to actually stream. You're really just not prepared for it, not that. Yeah, my handy uh, hot glue gun drip tray. Yeah. You don't want hot glue in your desk. Chloralated. No, I am gonna 
not turn that on yet. Am I? No. Anyway, five minutes time to put the chicken in the oven. Right. So, I'm not going to be able to see. Uh, not that you need to see me for this. Anyway, what I'm going to do is start actually. Let's think about this plan. Pre plan. Do it right. So, what I'm going to do is find the midpoint of this, which should be. Winner, winner. I can line this up. So I'm going to start from the top and work my way down. So is that the midpoint? Mmm, it's not. Either that or it is in the ears on even. Crud the buckets. Oh no, 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 no. That is. Yeah, I don't have a. I, I don't know if chicken dinner is a normal command, but I have very few commands set up because I don't really know what I'm doing with Twitch. So let's just batter in and see how it goes. So yeah, if that's like a normal command, um, I don't know what it is. Because <coughs> to be fair, I am relatively new to Twitch, which is why I'm trying to get to 50 followers. I'm just hoping this isn't kind of gone all gummy again. It is a wee bit, but it's not too bad. I thought it would remind you of the old good show. <laughs> good show. I might set that up as a command. <laughs> oh, good point, because I turned that alarm off, didn't I? Or did I? I don't know. Might have done. We'll, we'll find out in a minute. Should you have done it? I knew I'd seen it somewhere. I knew I'd seen it. <coughs> no, okay, I'm going to be doing this all stream. Yeah, I'm not... I'm still not 100% used to where this camera's pointing at, because... I keep moving it. <laughs> Which is very useful. Right. I, I, I don't know why I keep going a bit back and forth. Yeah. Is it what it is in the box? Yeah, it's like a fly. The boat stuff scares me. Yeah, I have literally no idea what I'm doing with any of it. Um, I found a guy who had like he'd made up like loads of copy and paste commands, um, because people kept on asking him for stuff, and um, so I just whoop, nicked the ones that I thought would be relevant for creative. I didn't turn off the alarm. There is the alarm. So anyway, that'll give that a second to get a bit tacky. I'll go and throw this in the oven. Uh, I'm getting my back shortly, screen up, back in a mole. Back a little sooner than I expected because I had forgotten to preheat the oven. Hate cell. So, right, 15. I would sure I have got a 43. Um, anyway, that gives us a wee bit of time to glue. Um, so, yeah, got the chicken in already. Forgot. Turn on the oven. Cool. Have a good one. See you later. Enjoy. Good luck with wedding planning.
Okay, this is this tough as it. Yep. Okay, let's see how we go here. Badly done, Emma. Badly done. Actually, that's what I meant to check. Before we go any wow, that's actually horrible. That's gonna need a lot of work to do it. Can I plug that in? Oops, let's keep it away from the kitchen. Model. That's what I was going to call. Oh, okay. Sorry if anybody's listening in the headphones, because that's evil. Model, where are you? No. no, that's the torso, idiot. Which I haven't got to yet. angle does this bit join in it? At the rear. Right, that is meant to be... Helps if I push the right button. Yeah, that is just meant to join up there. But... Right, so... You come in here. Hmm. You join up to there. Comes on to there. That might actually just need to be uh, something slotted in, maybe with a bit of super glue afterwards, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Cool. Okay. That's fine. As long as I know what I'm doing. As long as I know what I'm doing. What you doing? So. Next bit. Mouse can go the way over here. Glue. And get applied. And on this line. Come on, look at Easier to apply to the inside of this. Yes. Good. No, I was just about to get something there, and I completely gone out of my head. Yes. Oh, look. 
Hey, Clips, how's it going? You having a good Saturday? If you can hear me. <laughs> there we go. Just trying to apply some glue to a few bits here. And having difficulty with some of the angles. decided to start. Which is incredibly useful, but you know. What do you do? Now, what is going on with this? Spotify's crash, that's useful. <coughs> Alright, hard work this morning. Ooh, boo. Yeah, Jim was saying he was at work this morning as well, 6 till 2, which is evil. Or is it you're working anyway? If you're happy to have all that information, of course. Did you use a template for the image? Yes, I did. Um, the whole thing is a foam pet file, which I believe I got from the Pepicura depository on Facebook, which is run by curated by uh, Joshua Cullen of Cullen Cosplay, who is also known as Darkness on uh, the RPS. Um, he does kind of like JF custom style speed bill from Unfolds, and so do a number of the other people who use the depository as well. Um, uh, I like that because there's usually not too many fiddly bits to have to deal with um because i'm really impatient and uh as can be seen by the big gappy bit right here somehow not very good at cutting out templates <laughs> which is really useful um oh crap sorry dripping good um i will need to do a back soon in a couple of minutes because uh, i need to put a chicken in the oven and I'd forgotten to set the uh, the oven to preheat, so I wasn't going to stick it in a cold oven. So set the oven to preheat, and that's me needing to go and put the chicken in. So I will be back in approximately a minute and a half. Yeah, there's actually some really really good files in there. Um, I've taken a lot, but I haven't had a lot of time to actually build any of them yet. Um, I really want to do the Scout Trooper helmet from uh, Return of the Jedi because um, you know that that's actually the first film I remember seeing in the cinema, and I just loved the Scout Troopers on their speeder bikes. So I've always wanted one of their helmets. So uh, now I'm going to have to build one at some point. Um, but it's not on my cause plans for 2018 yet. Forever looking, I'm forever looking for templates. Um, yeah, there was also the um, Pepicura library that sourced into the One Cura website, which is still down as far as I'm aware, but the files are still on the Facebook group. So there's lots in there as well. And I just troll the RPF for stuff that I need as well. Um, occasionally, what I do is go just Google, like whatever foam.pdo. And uh, I think that's how I found the torso 
what I'm going to be doing for this. Anyway, I will be back in a couple of seconds. I'm going to put a wee bit of music back on a wee sec. Wait, what is going on? Thing is playing. Oh, there we go. Right, okay. A wee bit of a uh, thing next Spotify to keep you company for a second. I will put on my back shortly notification and I will be back shortly. And we're back. Um, yeah, no, I, I have so many templates for things stored on my hard drive, and it's ridiculous. I don't know when I'm going to get the chance to make any of them. Um, right now, let's see. Let's get some sort of squeezing this together. Actually, I might get it stick properly on that thing. Actually. I did this bit first. Then I don't need to worry about this joining um, in the wrong place while I'm trying to force the ear into position because it's a bit of a funny bit. Let's see if I can get that squished together a bit better. Don't do that, you just... Oh no, 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 that's exactly what we need, that's fine. Somehow, that kind of went apart from this bit here, which is a bit of a ridge. Oh. Um, you know, there's a wee bit of a ridge just there, if it's going to end up here. Yeah, kind of. And another ridge just there, so that's it. It's at the back. I'm hoping most people aren't be too interested in what's going on in the rear of my noggin, because this is going to need a big split up it for Velcro to go in. Or a zip! I haven't decided yet. If I have a zip the right length, I'll maybe use a zip. Try that, because I've not done that before and I've been looking for an excuse. So, this is going to be a bit of a fan. This needs to go into here. And into there. Oh, I think they're much smaller than that. Too. Right, I'll do this side down to the earpiece and then put it out. Actually, I should just join that one up there because that goes in right. Just because this glue is a bit crappy, um, I'm reinforcing most of my seams with hot glue as well. I'm doing this off camera, I don't know. There we go. So that, um, that doesn't fall apart on me while I'm wearing it. Apologies as well, I keep, because this thing's so damn long, um, I keep knocking the mic because I don't really have, especially with the glue gun heating up here, I don't really have a massive amount of um, 
workspace. It's like Spotify doesn't even know me. Why? Uh, predominantly, I listen to like kind of call it dark electronic and metal and J pop stuff or J rock stuff. Why would you advertise Clubland Classic to me? Ah, sorry, mic again. So uh, you weren't on earlier, Alex, but uh, after Carol posting about the um, little cordless rotary tool, yeah, they had them in the one cord us. Um, and it comes fully charged, which is awesome. Yep, that's done dummy as hell. Add another little bit here. Because most of that just came off. Yeah, that's horrible looking. Anyway, for the moment, it shows the. Oh, don't do that. Why was there pain in the song? Serenity Cold Play, holy moly. How the hell are you? G'day mate. And hosting, thank you very much for the host. Uh, long time no see. Not been on for a while. How are things in the land still on under? No. Just for anybody looking along here, I may knock the mic occasionally. Uh, because this thing is bloody long. It's like eerie bits, necky bits, quite long. Um, so yeah, uh, apologies for anybody wearing a headset. I, actually, what I could do is move the mic over here a bit. Now, also, uh, where's my mic going? There we go. If in an hello going out costume, how are you? Everyone's here today. Um, if at any point you can't hear what I'm saying, Exclamation point mumble gives me a little audible notification that you can't hear me or that I'm talking nonsense to myself. So, you're awesome. You are awesome. Uh, I hope your Saturday is going well. Now, I am kind of panic building at the moment, so because this needs done along with a torso that I haven't even started yet for next Saturday for the first con that I'll have been to in two years <coughs> Woohoo! <coughs> Facetious Fam is now following thank you very much for the follow, that is much appreciated now, I'm having to try and apply this glue from inside so apologies that this is going to be out of shot for the moment but really, I'm just applying gummy contact cement to uh, a seam and then using a nice little piece of foam to spread it around. Spread it around. What? Oh. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I think that's uh, Tyrannus's um, appearance is, for some reason, made me get Mr. G in my head from thing me. What do you call it? Oh, I can't even remember the bloody code down there. Sweet Valley High? No, not Sweet Valley High. Something high. My classroom's yet come alive. Come on. Ah, for me. So yes. Okay, and congrats on saying facetious on the first show. It is a word I use all the time. <laughs> because normally I am the one being quite facetious. Uh, Mumble, uh, takes a lot of streamers to future it. Yeah, like I say, I'm normally quite facetious myself. Uh, usually to my work colleagues and um, family members, so it is in my regular vocabulary. 
No. That's the thing about these wee bits of foam as glue spreaders. They get gummed up pretty quick and you don't want dry contact contact cement coming into contact with not so dry contact cement because then it just gums and grabs and where the hell was I find that thing? Wrong side. Oh do. No. Who <laughs> no. Oh, no. That's not working very well at all. Yeah, this... It, I'll start again. We're going to be in good terms then. <laughs> good evening, good evening. Yeah, so... Yeah, yeah. But 10pm your time? Thank you for the follow! That's awesome! Um, yeah, it must be... Time must be getting on for you a bit. I'm just going to wait, this is sitting in front of my little USB desk fan, just getting a little bit tacky here. Um, am I sounding like a robot? Because uh, 5 to midnight, I hope you have booze. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm building a backhoe looking a bit like Scarecrow, or Bane, you know, whatever. Janice needs a wee nap. I need a wee nap. Everybody else in the house is having a nap. I'm not. So yeah. Hey, oh, actually, can I do that soon? Yeah, I'm at. Start again. My contacts are in. I decanted into condiment bowls a little while ago. Um, because of that, they've been in there a while and I haven't got my thinner from the shed <laughs> recently so they're starting to get a little bit gummy and I'm just a bit concerned about some of the seams splitting while I'm wearing this thing um, given that when I wore the last one I made this one um, I've had to reinforce it on the inside can you see, oh no, where's the chin seriously this is like reversed or some shit and I can never see what's going on what if we go in this Go in this yeah, it's split here at the bottom. Yeah, it's reinforced on the inside with some 2mm foam because I had a cough when I wore it. And every time I coughed, not every time I coughed, occasionally when I coughed, it would split. Good stuff. Luckily, I was in the house because it was Halloween and I was just handing out sweets to kids. So I could just nip into the other room, apply a bit more glue, wait for a couple of minutes and do my kind of thing. So, I'm going to try and stick, don't split the foam, I know, so I'm reinforcing most of the seams on the inside of this, which you can probably see with hot glue, um, just to be on the safe side. So, I'm going to attempt to not destroy this seam, because I've done not too bad with the one on the other side. Yeah, foam splitting, Un unless you mean to split it for a particular purpose of, you know, resizing or joining two bits together more effectively. Splitting your seams is not a good idea. Mm, that was a bit lower than expected. How did that happen? Oh, it could have did go together and then when I squeeze it, it splits. That's useful. So, I can say, Tyrannus, if you're still there, I haven't seen you in a while, how, how are things? I hope all is well. Yeah, this is a... Uh, cover of Thriller, which my Spotify keeps playing. I will endeavour to not sing along, you'll be glad to hear. Things are good! Good, I'm glad. Now, how oh, about this one? Where do I put the line of here? That one. Right, that's the scene I've already done. It's nine in the morning, then. It's four in the afternoon. Why not? <laughs> so, 
right. Another. <laughs> Stephachu is not following. Thank you for the follow, Stephachu. Your name probably sounds a bit weird for this um, mask. What am I doing? Right. So I'm trying. I'm can I do this on camera at all? No, okay. Basically, I'm just going to be shoving a little bit of hot glue in here over a seam. If I can, there we go. Just to get a little bit of plastic reinforcement. The length of that joint. That's all the way down to here. Come on. I'm going to this as well. You go there. You're going to stand up there now. Seriously, these 1, 2, 3 blocks have been the most used. Mainly for holding my uh, extra light <laughs> so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm filling the ear up with glue. That's, that's good. That wasn't intended. Now, another... Oh, anyway. Last night I had some fabric on your white branch because you're going to make yourself a skirt. Now the cats are getting over who gets to lay down on it. Yeah. Hello, Stephachu. Yeah, cats and fabric and foam and things. I uh, just don't let our cat in here whenever I'm doing anything. Because otherwise, it's rips and tears and little claw mushy things. Anyway, this is. Oh, where are we? Screen. Hey, air duster. Now, can I close the shadow? Just the stuff you use to clean your keyboard out with. This is a tip. I got from Bill on Punished Props, it was on their video about creating thingy undercuts and getting um, nice mountain and valley folds without having to join two pieces of beveled angles. And his suggestion was with using hot glue because it doesn't cure, it cools, uh, it cools basically. Um, when you hold, oops, that stuff, that's not gonna work. When you hold air duster upside down, you get a blast of the super cold propellant, which chills down your hot glue without you having to wait for you just quickly. Solidify so you can move on to the next bit. Which is great for somebody with no patience like me. So, let's do this side. Right, there we go. Alright. This is great. Oh, I'm basically going to be where hmm, hmm, camera no I had this a minute ago there we go right there's a seam line in there running around the ear that doesn't have any hot glue in it you have to protect so many things from time anytime there's a box in the house <laughs> no it's not a new house You know, I didn't think of this for the other first. <laughs> I can hold it here and look through the Michael. Let's try it, see if I do this. Can you see it as well? Maybe, I don't know, not quite. Fame, we've got Going in, we've got Stephachu, I know where Tyrannus is from, if he's the one. Where are you all from? No, where are we? Oh. Oh. Is that one? It did. Very useful. There we go. No. This side should be relatively easy going. Nevada! And it's threatening to snow. We had a bit of snow last week. But not so much. Hello, <laughs> a couple of inches in the UK and the place is trying to halt. Um, which I'm presuming that Nevada may be relatively similar unless you live at altitude. Where in the mountainous regions you're totally deep. What am I doing? Relatively used to snow. Still. 
Now I have glue. Fifteen or so. Fifteen or so. What? Ooh, what's going on here? Oh crap! Right, I'm gonna need to cut this stream in about ten minutes or so. I think. There we go. Hey, Collins, go for How are you? Having a fun Saturday, I hope. For anybody that's wondering, this is a foam Pepicura file that I obtained from the Pepicura Depository on Facebook. And if you've ever heard of Cullen Cosplay, uh, Darkness on the RPF, he created that group and I believe curates it as well. This glue is not leaving very pretty, pretty lines in my seams here. Right, that thing comes down to... I am mumbling again. I just finished ready for... You know, just finished work, getting ready for a nap before a second job. Well, that kind of sucks on a Saturday. Two jobs on a Saturday? Hello, that's all money, which is good. Sorry, 4,500 feet, and Las Vegas is down at 2,000 feet. Oh, okay, that's still higher than I expected, actually. Well, I hope if you get snow, it's not too bad. <laughs> One of our colleagues um, in our US office, they're based on the northeast, and um, they got, I think, 15 inches a week and a half ago. Uh, and she spent uh, just over an hour clearing her driveway with a snowblower. <laughs> and then the snowplow came up the road and <laughs> filled it all back up again, which was a bit evil, but you know, you have to laugh. Uh, you know, it sucks. But more money to get your street up and running, just start the phone building and quickly. Good! And that's kind of what I want to aim these streams at because I'm a relative beginner myself. And I know, like, from watching, like, Punish Props and um, Evil Ted and Evil FX and SKS Props and all of these really, really awesome builders that, you know, they. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow. Um, it is much appreciated, really appreciated. Um, you know, they take a bit of foam and they turn it into this like TwitchCon winning effort, and it looks stunning. And um, but when you're starting out and you're beginning, it doesn't generally always look like that unless you're quite arty and good at painting and finishing and stuff. Um, and I want to be able to show people that you know when you are starting out. It doesn't always look that great, um, like this. Um, so yeah, so that people don't get discouraged, you know, because you do improve as you go along. Like my first couple of builds, like this Captain America helmet up here, here there, and the dread helmet uh, on the end are really sucky. Um, the Dread Helmet is way too big, or Dreadpool Helmet is way too big. The Captain America Helmet is slightly too small, as is the Star, the Star Lord Helmet, but it came together a little bit better. It was, one of them. it was the first kind of more complex one I'd done. Anyway, so usually when the storms come, they get stuck in the mountain range some 60 miles to the west. 
then quickly move past you then get stuck in a mountain range 140 miles to the east well that's lucky um, phone building yeah but with phone there are ways to do things to make up for your mistakes it's why it's such an awesome material yes now evil tech um, recommends quick seal which is an acrylic filler I use this stuff hold on uh, 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 this is all-purpose filler that I got from the pound shop which is the same as a dollar store um, and it's worked pretty well actually sanding and filling that's what I'm hoping will save this uh, but, uh, da, da, da. yeah I picked up <laughs> picked a very bad build as your first armored batman but that's not because you get a couple of commissions to do first yes nice one what are your commissions if you're able to talk about them yeah, a lot of the kind of bigger thing is with um any new material that you work with, it's good to start with something relatively simple, like the Captain America helmet or whatever. Um Drum Show Wonder Woman. Nice. Cool. Well, I hope they go well for you and your customer. That's pretty cool. So that's pretty cool that you've gone from kind of having not finished your first build to having commissions. Or is it just your first home build? Uh, these seams look a wee bit more raggedy than they are um, because there's some kind of glue overlap. Now what I have done is sealed up the back of this. Oh, I'm going to go this line. But I just wanted it to hold together first of all, and then I'll split that back open again. Now, I can't decide, because I'm going to need to see how this comes together first of all. Because somehow, I don't know if this piece has been a wee bit too long, or this piece has been a wee bit too narrow. But this isn't wanting to match up right. So I'm thinking, if I glue these seams together... Uh oh, your battery is running out. Oh, crap. That's because I forgot to plug it in! Mm -hmm. Now, nah, first building cosplay, commission for a cosplay model. I mean, it until it's a change and such. Cool! Oh, model. Sorry. My eyes are going to I forgot my glasses when I was coming in here and I couldn't be bothered going out to get them. First one build is a simple one piece, simply curved gauntlet, spy pieces, learned the material, and then I built a different <laughs> Which is freaking awesome, by the way. Hold on, that—that that was like your second phone build. I'm—I'm I'm just gonna give up right now. That's it. I'm done. No point continuing. Seriously, if it, actually, let me just very quickly. Everybody in chat, give yourselves a shout out. But now I'm gonna go. Oh, what well, have I done? Bye -bye. Uh, oops. Hold it. Because I'm not on the right bit. Uh, oh, hey, studio. That was your second moment. Holy crap. What material do you normally work in? Because you must work in something else. Um, uh, so. Okay. Um, I cannot take for shit to this. Seamstress, yeah. Hold on, is this gonna work? Yay! Right. Exclamation mark, SO, and your thing. Um, give yourselves a shout out. Follow some awesome people. Actually, go and if you have pictures handy of your revenant, if anybody hasn't seen this, please post them in the chat because it is seriously stunning work. And it, it makes me cry inside knowing that that's your, like, second ever phone build. Well, I suppose some of the things like templating and stuff, patterning, would transfer. But the actual bringing together of the materials, obviously, it seems to sing, you know, you're used to, you know, I presume, much more flexible materials than 
a lot of films would be It's so good. I I think I first saw was it falling already? No, I think I was already following you in your Instagram whenever Ted asked you to post clips on that and it was just what? Now I've got about, I think, 10 minutes before I need to end this stream, I think. Because it sounds like people are getting up from naps. Take sure of I'm actually going to have to look at this again. Excuse me. Yeah, it's a point, but... I mean, that's insane for, like, to a point. <laughs> what are you doing? There we go. But it's not even just like, the seamstress thing, it's not like a lot of the time you're adding, like, the, the finishing on that is just insane. Like, the paint job, the weather, like, everything about it is just, you'd think you'd been a filmsmith for like 25 years. I mean, what age am I? I think the only thing I've been doing for 25 years is drinking. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, I am quite good at that. Slightly stupid. How are you? Hello, hello. Oh, wait a minute. Got too many things open on this. I really need to get like a oh, a. Uh, second monitor set up, which I have, but somehow have lost the power cable for, which is really useful. Yeah. Remember all painting techniques of a teenager from your aunt Evelyn? What you want? She had a ceramic studio. Ah, good job. But I'm, I'm actually incredibly jealous of them. Um, Studios painting uh, techniques and ability as well. That snake sword that you've actually studio. If anybody hasn't seen your snake sword, um, I'm gonna post a picture in chat because that thing's amazing. Right, your miniature painting is just awesome. And yeah, like your miniature paint, it, it, like a lot of it kind of layering and stuff that you did looks like it's translated directly from miniature painting and it just looks awesome. I think the last time I painted a miniature I was about 14, which was longer ago than I would like to think about. Mm -hmm. what, what's the weather doing with you at the minute? Have you got the joyous rain and wind that we've got up here? Anyway. <laughs> and yeah. I don't know what it's been like. Actually, that's a lie. It is kinda of grey and crappy at the minute. But earlier on when we were coming back from Sonam with the V1, it was blue skies and sunshine. I had to wear my sunglasses in the car because I couldn't see. Which is crazy. Love that snake. Yes. I think studio has been a big part of a lot of British <laughs> people getting into streaming. Because <laughs> you're always online. Um, you go on any evening. Any evening. And there he is. Doing miniature painting. Building cool stuff. Building Lego. <laughs> or uh, painting up your <laughs> subs foam board. Why isn't Green City when it goes to the sword for it? Eh, you want a nice bit of light, I would guess. I should, I'm 
I'm an idiot. It's raining hard. Yeah. They're actually coming together a little better than I expected. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, man. 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 Umbrellas. <laughs> Just like a sword and an umbrella. <laughs> oh, my God. You could set up an awning, I guess, between a couple of trees. At a slightly higher level to keep the rain off the sword. And then you could find an umbrella to take a picture of it. Although it's not really very nice walking through the woods. In the rain. Well, it can be, but not with props, I guess. Right. Yeah. I know, I might say it's a bit annoyed because I made that Wonder Woman sword. Oh my god, it's not great. But I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Mm. It's a wee bit dirtier than I want it right now. But the only th the thing I'm most unhappy about with this is the handle is just a bit square. I didn't really want to take too much um, structural integrity out of it by removing one or two. Um, so I kind of packed it a wee bit and left it a bit squarer than I liked. And I'm a bit annoyed because I think a shot of it in the snow would have been quite good. And I never even thought. Although have I sealed it yet? Don't think I've sealed it yet. So it probably wouldn't have been very good after all. Alright, again I'm just gonna reinforce this seam a little bit with some hot glue. And then I believe at that point, I might need to call it a day. Where are we? Okay. Come on, you bugger. Right. Right. Air duster again. Especially from that, yeah. Where is Calendar? Near Glasgow. Um, Edinburgh. No, uh, well. Sorry. Um, Edinburgh is maybe about forty minutes away. Kind of in between the two, kind of ish. But I'm not originally Scottish. If it's the accent you're wondering, but. I'm from, I'm from Northern Ireland, like, he came over here a bundle of years ago, like, and never left, you know what I mean, like? You turn, you turn things on your stream? A Ouija, like, very, uh, funnily enough, I used to work with his brother. Or his brother really used to work with me. Given that I worked there first. <laughs> yeah, I've been over here for... In... Just over 20 years, I think. Never left. I can understand you on like but yeah. Well, yeah, he's, he's sometimes good. I think with furry, it sometimes is, he throws a few wee colloquialisms, but if you're not, eh. Uh, if you're not Scottish or familiar with the. Eh. Uh, in the. local parlance, shall I say. Mate. Depending on how strong it is, some Glaswegians struggle with the Glaswegian accent sometimes. Because even within Glasgow, there's uh, 
like area accent differences. Like people from North Glasgow will talk differently to people from South Glasgow. You uh Yeah, was this thing before? Was it you? No it wasn't, it was uh, who else is no, I can't remember. Um, my old flatmate is an assistant professor at the University of Utah. Which is a bizarre little. Tidbit for you. Useless fact of the day. You try crafty. Mm, all kinds of stuff. Mortar and things. Mm. What, what will you be making them out of? I can't even find one frame here. No, that didn't really work very well. Good. Good. It's kind of filled the gap, but that's going to be janky as hell. Um, that's going to need quite a lot of filling and sanding, I think. Hmm. Utah. Two sets. Is that drama over here? I will be stuck on it. Out of the nuts, so I'm gonna have to head soon. Um, there you go. Horrible. There you go. Right, yeah, that is not good at all. I don't know if you can see what I've done here. Whoa, no, right. That one. No, that's it. Seriously, dude. Crafty nerd. I prefer deep nerd. Yeah, I've had to like, put a little filler bit in there, but I'm hoping some. Acrylic coat will uh, allow you that to be fine. Now, here comes the fun bit. Oh, yeah, studio. I think I was showing this before you came on. Carol had said about these cordless rotary tools in Little. Picked one up today, came fully charged. I shall be trying this out later. It feels pretty heavy duty and it goes up. Hold on pretty fast, so it might be alright. Creative Utah! Yeah, I've been looking at what the cordless one for ages, just because it's a bit of a faff when I'm setting my stuff up, because if I'm doing it out in the utility room, I need like an extension lead, and then my corded thing, and then I've got all my bits and stuff. This way I can just bring a couple of bits out on that. Work, 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 done. Because there's a couple of wee edges I want to tidy up on this, like under where are we? The nose piece just on this side. Have a port where you can charge. No, uh, yeah, actually, it's got a, a charging port. You disconnect the battery by this, like this, and that just slots in a wee charger. And then, back in again. Good stuff. So, yeah, you can just have that plugged in somewhere. Now, I am going to use the out. I mean, you shouldn't have glued this together properly. Because what I'm going to need to do is slip this back seam. Sorry. This back seam. So I can get my head in and out. I'm wondering if you can set it down as well. I hate switching batteries. Yeah, it's the. Uh, mm. Oh, you mean like. Plunk. I'm charging. That's what I thought it did at first, but it doesn't. Which would be easier, but you know, it was pretty cheap out of little, so I don't really mind. And I'm all for uh, bargain tools. Love a bargain. Right. But, well, can be a bummer, but it's. Um, like I say, I have a corded one, but you know, if you just want to do something quick and easy, because I don't do it in here, it'll be better when I've got my 
and it's called the workshop setup. And now I'm just gonna bring this in here a bit. Now you probably aren't gonna be able to see what I'm doing here, but I can. So I'm gonna take it up to about here. Let's slip this seam again. I don't really mind if I'm running kind of parallel to the seam as long as it's roughly there. I think I'm actually passing back and forth through it a couple of points. Right, now. Let's see if I can get my head in this. And if I can, great. If I can't, then I will be. Cutting it a little bit more. No, I can't really still kind of hot there. No, nope. oh, I can turn this hot there. No. I'm hoping. Oh, yes. Wow, this is way too big. Crap. <laughs> Damn it. Janet. Ah, Jeff. Yeah, this is a little bit gappy. I don't like it. Hmm. Bombs. It's irritating insofar as it's scaled right for the width of my head, but it's too long front to back by like probably a good two inches. Which I could probably actually it's even more than that. Most of that gap out, the whole way up here, and it still wouldn't be tight on my head. Ah, and from going from the front, it looked like it was going to be a good fit, but because if I have it like this, anytime <laughs> that's not so good, unless I put a bit of padding. Hold on. You enjoy your shower going ape. Um, yeah, I'm Batman with a flappy cow. But if I raise my shoulders, I'm looking out the mouthpiece. Yeah, I'm gonna need to take this in a bit. Crud buckets. However, thank you all for watching. Thank you for all the new followers, thank you for the hosts, um, I hope you all have a good Saturday, and I hope to catch uh, most of you, if not all of you, streaming at some point soon. Uh, your kid used all the water. You could always wait for it to heat up again. Boil the kettle, have a bath. All right. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you're ever bored, you can come see me at Talon Sword Foundry on Facebook, Talon Sword on Instagram. Talon Sword Foundry on YouTube, 
which is basically just an export of these streams. It's probably not really much use. And Talon Sword FF on Twitter. If you are on Twitter, come say hi because I'm looking to build my my peeps that I'm following and who's following me because my personal one I've got quite a lot of followers and followees and my cosplay one's a bit quiet so anyway if you're making stuff keep making it if you're not making anything yet give it a shot it's easier than it looks if I can do it anyone can although looking at the uh, misscaling of that Batman cow you might wonder can he Anyway, have a good one. Thanks for the watches, thanks for the follows, thanks for the hosts. Enjoy.